Just tell me this. what's your short plan. You might not have a 10-year right. plan, which Step. is what you're saying about being removed. But what's your plan for tomorrow? You're going to get up, you're going to go to the community center, you're going to talk to this brother, you, and say, this right. is my situation. I don't want to be here anymore. Can you help me figure out how to make a plan? Is that a valuable point? And let me just say this real fast. Answer me. Let me just say this very quickly. I want to know what he has to say about that. What I started out plan? with the GED. I dropped out of high school. Because, like I said, I wanted to be a thug. I thought it would be lucrative. I thought it would give me street credibility, that thing. I found out very quickly when I got arrested that this, and I was sitting in a holding cell at 17 years old, 18 years old, and I said, I don't want this. I had dropped out of high school, and I went to a community center, a community college, and I signed up to take GED classes, and I got my GED, and I went to college, and I did not look back. That reminds me of Barry White. He had the same mm -hmm. situation. He was in yeah. prison cell. Yep. He was like, yo, man, forget this. I can't. I'm going to stop gangbanging. Barry White was a gangbanger. Yeah, no, I remember. Mm -hmm. I read his biography. He was like, you know what? I got to. Forget this. And the centerpiece to my whole presentation, folks, it is choice. Your life is choice. You do have to the right to make the choice of where you want to go. It's, it's, it's right, especially now. It well, couldn't be clearer. Well, I'm glad you made the choice to come to my radio show tomorrow morning. Six let, me, let me get your contact information, too, because yeah. you got to give me where, yeah. when, and so yeah, it's, right, it's right down the block. We broadcast uh, tomorrow. Uh, Right, yes. right, you gotta write it down for me. You can bring somebody to the water, you can't make them drink it, my son. You can tell somebody all they want is what you need to do, and they can say that you and me all over me, and I hope they got the paper. Yes, you can do it. You don't think you do your nothing. Not to give you all the steps. That's a mouthful. It ain't gonna be easy, and will everybody achieve greatness to the extent that they want? Maybe not, but you ain't gonna still stay in this debt and no. Slave mentality, ghetto mentality, crab mentality, shake that off and step up to the game. The definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing over and over and experiment and expect different results. In order to get a different result, you have to do something different. So, um, comment. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for um, the presentation. It made me feel like I was in a teaching my students because, you know, we are all leaders in, in spite of how the situation we're in, we're all leaders. You know, I, his presentation allowed me to bring another mindset mm -hmm. towards my students. Maybe we can look at it a different way. Maybe we can go back through the history of where we've come from because sometimes, I'm, I'm sorry, because sometimes we forget where we come from. You know, when, when this move forward for a moment. When Barack Obama was running, there was a lot of things, you know, on the internet about how so many people died for us to to, to be able to vote. To be able to vote. That's why you know, that's why so I put it in a historical context you, to see that this is valuable. You walking around, you know, and I work with things I work with the young, the old, the restless, the helpless, the blonde, the crazy. You know, I've worked with women, you know, young girls that was pregnant. You know, I worked with men that was incarcerated. I worked with everybody. But you know, when where they were at, they knew what they needed to get out of life. So it's not even a matter about, oh, you know, I have my G, I don't have a GED, yo, what's so up, big picky, yo, who are you doing? Exactly. I mean, I know all of that. Been there, done that. But it's up to you. You know, you can come to my program and falsify your name on the paperwork all you want to. You know, but at the end of the day, when somebody is going away, I'm going away to a home, to a family, I'm getting paid, you're not getting nothing. And you keep doing the same thing, like he said, and Sandy is doing the same thing, expecting different results. You know, just to add one more thing, the mindset. We got people walking around, you got... Rappers singing songs, calling women all kind of filthy, nasty, okay. disgusting, degraded names, but yet and still you want a, a positive reaction. You gotta stop doing that. And it's up to you. So I'm done. Here. And you here you are talking about big hole. What's a hole? Do you know the meaning of a hole? Whichever one of those rapper songs came on and he had it on his iPad and was listening to it talk about hole this, all that. Mother jumped up in his face, face to face, said to him, Spell it for me. You're there singing it, spell it. And she really, you know, roughed him up to let him know 
Yeah. Unfortunately, the email that's on the card does not work. So if you're going to outreach to me, either call me directly, that's the phone number that's listed, or hit me by my website, ramonesmith.weebly.com, which is at the bottom of the card. Uh, so the book can be purchased the here. Dean of the business school said, simply put, do you want to work on Wall Street, yes or no? I said yes. He said, we need to come to my school. We need to come to our school. This is where we'll place you. And here's all those that we placed, and here are the companies they've gone to. And it was fantastic, and the pitch worked. Long story short, the best thing about college is internships. It's an opportunity for you to work, be paid on most, not some, or most, uh, uh, you know, it depends on your field. Um, but travel to different cities, travel to different regions, travel to different countries, um, and come back to school and then utilize that internship experience uh, to your academics. So not only did I intern every single year, but one of the best parts about college was study abroad. So I had to do a semester uh, where I lived for four months in England, and I traveled every weekend across Europe. And that was probably one of the most, uh, uh, that was just probably one of the best experiences of my undergrad was the ability to go abroad. And I was the only HBCU uh, out there. So when I went, I was with kids who had been doing this since they were like 10, 11, and 12. And they had spent summers in France and, and, and winters in Stad and skiing in Germany. Can, can I follow up on that for just a second? So you were, he was the only person represented at HBCU in that particular program. He's only African American. Oh, but, uh, you don't have time to cover that topic. <laughs> but the question is, being an HBCU grad and having an HBCU education, did you feel any what inferior? to any of those other people in the program? So that's actually a great question. So you gotta remember, when you're in HBCU, your competition isn't just Howard, Morehouse, and Spelman. Your competition is Harvard, Yale, Princeton, and Brown, and Columbia. So you're going against the best of the best and the smartest of the smartest, period. But the best thing about HBCUs, and I know everybody up here can, can, uh, can back me up on this, they make you feel like you are prepared because they actually do put you in a place, and put you in a spot with all the resources to get to the level where you are prepared. Um, and you'll see that in, at an HBCU, there are those who are driven and hungry and, and just want it as bad as they want to breathe. And then you have others who are there, you know, they matriculate through the system. But the best thing about HBCUs are they seem to take most African Americans that really are hungry. Uh, most African Americans that really are driven to all want to be successful. So you're putting a pot with 2,000 of the kids that are just as ambitious, just as smart, if not smarter. So going there makes you better. And when all those opportunities like study abroad and internships come, the few kids that come with you on internships and come with you study abroad and, and go to different uh, opportunities with you, you always have just this great sounding board and support system. Uh, so at the end of the day, like I really just I can't I can't harp on enough. If you go to uh, if you go to Syracuse, so Syracuse might be twenty thousand population African Americans or minorities. Let's just say minorities in general could be less than.